We've done so many beautiful blocks now. We're up to reviewing. We'll see what you remember. So we had this one. We had Oh Susanna, our song. And in the very center is the technique called square in a square. So that's a good one. And you have a good one, Lynn. Yes, so the block we're going to do also has flying geese. So similar to this technique that we used in Dutchman's Puzzle. Perfect. So I just love the way it's coming. It's really great to look at. I love the yellow. But the block that we're going to show you has such an odd name. It's called depression. And I've been thinking, okay, what does it mean, depression? I've never depressed when I sew or quilt. I'm always so happy. I love that. So probably not that kind of depression, maybe the 1930s and the 40s when people didn't have much fabric and they had to use their feed sacks, that was it. Yes, that yeah, was I bet it. that's it. The depression when they used their feed sacks, that makes us happy. Okay, so we're gonna start right in the center with the square and a square, this one that is on point. And here's the little square and your die is number? Six. Number six, okay, so okay. let's just Put that right on top, center it on there, only one. And then we've got the triangles around the outside. There's four of them. You can take your rough cut piece, fold it in half, and you've just got two layers, and you're gonna have four triangles in just a jiffy. Okay, right. so go ahead and take that and push those through. You know, when I was growing up, my Aunt Edna had such a collection of feed sacks. And I remember just walking up to my aunt in this house and she would let me choose one of her feed sacks. I always picked um, something red, white, and blue because my birthday is July 3rd. I think I'm a early firecracker born too soon. And I know I used every single one of my Aunt Edna's red, white, and blue feed sacks. Oh, it's just too much fun. And then my mom said that she doesn't even remember the depression because she grew up on a farm and they always had plenty to eat. Isn't that, that's a good story. Okay, so there's this one. So before I lay out this one, Lynn, we've got geese, our beautiful pink geese, and that is number four. four. And they can all be right side up, doesn't matter, right side or wrong side. Just line them up, four, and then around the geese are the triangles. We need a total of eight. So we've got two pieces that we're gonna fold. We're gonna be careful so we don't get eight layers there, huh? All right, okay, and that's there we go. five. So we've okay. got four and five. Okay, so we're good. So when you do the square and a square, remember that you take your triangles and you put them on opposite sides Here's your quarter of an inch. Let's see if I can get that laid down there. Press them out towards the triangle. And then you just have the last two triangles. Ooh, I'm liking this. Look how pretty I can get it built. Okay, and then opposite two corners, press them out. And then you've got your geese. We love geese. I'll never forget when I saw all the geese flying in formation. Okay, you need four of them. And I'm just gonna lay the geese around the outside edge. And you actually need to sew the triangles on first. Don't be like me, I'm just reviewing. Okay, and let's just put the triangles. They are light and two on each side. They've got their little, um, little dog ears that they can just match in there like so especially if you didn't see the first programs. This is a good review, right? It's a great review. It's a great review. I, I just love it. Okay, and I think the colors are so pretty in this one around here. And two more. Okay, one, two, everything has perfect places to go. They end up being exactly the same size. And two more. I like this kind of sewing. We could just glue it down, Lynn, right? We could just glue these down. That would be easier. Okay, that's the good to start. And then all we have left are the half square triangles. 
that are going to go in turned like this and make it very, very graphic. Put it around. I'm not depressed. Are you? I'm not either. I'm not. I could just sew forever and be forever happy. Me too. It looks great. Thank you.